Good morning, gurus. Welcome to another episode. Hope you're having a beautiful day. Um, total market cap 46,000. Bitcoin sitting at 60,100. We're getting this bull flag as well, forming on the one hour bull flag here. And this was the bottom at 49K. And then huge bull flag forming, in my opinion. It's coming to a head, right? I'll show you in the deeper technicals. It's a bullish pen and a bull flag. Market cap 2.2 trillion. Um, fear and greed index right now at fear still. Maybe because it's Sunday, everyone's worried that possibly they're going to announce a new uh, Iran war again and then drop the markets like last Sunday. I don't think so this time. That's why I didn't sell my positions this time. We're going to jump into charts for Bitcoin. I'm going to show you my $600,000 account with my twenty dollars or $15,000 profitable trade on Bitcoin. I'm going to show you my alts that I hold. I'm going to do Ethereum technicals and then I'm going to read your comments. Love you all. Subscribe, smash up, thumbs up and turn on the bell. Let's jump into technicals for Bitcoin now. We're going into the technicals. And right now the market slightly even on the day. Solana down 1%. Pocket up 16%. Whoa, BNB up 3%. Wow, some pumps up. That was interesting pump on on pocket from a low of pocket just did a low on around 30 cents, under 30 cents, and then big bounce 16%. World up a little bit. Let's go into Bitcoin. MCRT slightly up. Bitcoin 60,829. And we're opening it on the charts. I start off always on the longer term time frames. That way you can see more what's happening. And again, this is what everyone needs to keep in mind on the longer term time frames. Huge cup and handle forming here. Okay, what is a couple hand handle? I teach you in the crypto master course in the technical analysis section. Cup, handle, we break out the base of the cup. This distance here. So... Again, Bitcoin has this giant cup and handle. Everyone see? Huge cup and handle forming. And again, we break the distance of the cup, this distance here. So we are talking a move from Bitcoin from the low of 49K. If, this, if, if that was the low, this will be taken from the low of 49K with the target of 106K. 106k lining up close to my fifth wave volume we have one more day left of bitcoin and this will be one of the all-time high volumes on bitcoin we've still got one more day remaining i uh, know it won't be all-time high but it'll be the fourth biggest bitcoin volume day in its history the last time that was bigger was ftx crashes in the bottom of the market so fourth biggest day in bitcoin volume history stochastic turning up um it's a bull uh it's a hammer candle on the on the doji crypto guru but still a blue buy 2023 it fired it at 20k still a blue buy you get all these indicators in the crypto master course um we the bitcoin indicator bought fired a sell did not yet fire a buyer so it still thinks the bottom is an in but i use all the indicators together daily stochastic heading up any major pattern here let's get rid of my abc count We've had two counts on Bitcoin, by the way, since two years, the last two years on these videos. We had one count down here. We had our second Elliott Wave count here. And now we've started the third count from here. And it just to me looks like that big bull flag that I showed you on the TV. Giant paw, huge flag, breakout. Target is 105. Or actually, we can do another target. So we had the target for the cup and handle. Now let's do a target for the bull flag. We could, oh, it's not. Hmm. You can measure it to the base. So, okay, target for the bull flag for Bitcoin. And if you're wondering what these are, you can learn all these in the Crypto Master Course or just you can also Google all these patterns. 105 lines up. Ooh, 105K target for Bitcoin. Okay, where to get in? Big support. Try to get in on a support if you can. So taking long, I would keep the long from before on that major weekly support. It's like almost yearly support even, but a strong support there. That's the one I would take and keep my target all the way to the target, 105. This is the trade I'll take on Bitcoin, Bitcoin quite a big one. Opening at 58,000, stop loss 56,800, risking $1,200 to make $47,000 per Bitcoin. So risking, again, I'm risking... $1,200 to make 
47,000 per Bitcoin with no leverage. 10x leverage, 470,000. That trade opens 58,000. Stop loss, 56,800. And if you go over to Bybit, I'm going to show you my trades. If you want to tr trade on Bybit, sign up to Bybit down below. You get a $60,000 bonus now if you use that link. Take the Crypto Master course, all the courses to learn all this, $300. Um, and then join us in the Telegram. My Bybit account right now is... 600,000 and $600,987. This week I went from 530 to 612 back to 601. Very big swings this week. So 530. So I made to 82k and now I'm still up around so 530 to 600. So I'm up 70k this week. Let's watch it just flip to 601. 61 601,000. Let's see if it changed. It's it's fluctuating because my Bitcoin trade $17,400 in the profit, $60,000. It's a $316,000 Bitcoin trade. Funding fee is still almost negative. And my buys on Bitcoin were like perfect. I sold at 66 and I bought down, which was beautiful. And in here, I'm holding assets Uniswap 11%, USDT 27%, Bitcoin 29%, MCRT 13%, Doge 8%. Okay, let's see Ethereum now. Yeah, so I'd wait to take, if you're going to go long, 58k would be a place to add. Another major, I wouldn't add till major supports. I wouldn't add on Bitcoin till major supports because it's it can easily, some bad news comes in and you get wicked out. So it's better that we um, be safe on our trade entries. But we are also in the second to third impulse now, everyone. The largest of the impulse waves. Let's see how far we get on Bitcoin. It's stochastic heading up. Let's go in four hourly for any short-term trades. Stochastic heading down, volume dropping off. But I clearly see a bull flag there. So if you want to take a riskier short-term trade, catch trying to catch this bull flag, this is a much riskier trade, but just very short-term. Very close stop loss. So I take from here with a very tight stop loss. The trade either activates and works or it fails. And target would be the bull flag. Let's go closer on the hourly. You'll be able to see it more clearly. That little bull flag. So pole flag. And now I'm measuring out the distance of the pole. So then I can set the trade take profit. Tiny little bull flag on Bitcoin with a target of 66,500. Very tight, very stop, tight stop loss. So it's 30 risk to reward ratio, risking $200 to make $6,200 per Bitcoin with no leverage. With 10x leverage, that's $62,000. That's the riskier trade I'll take. 60,273, stop loss 60,000. And this is the safe, the better trade that I'll take. 58,000, 56,000. Not better, just more. This one is more risk to reward. Almost same risk to reward, actually. Almost same risk to reward, but that one's just got a tight stop. That's the trades I would take on Bitcoin. That's my account. Those are my trades. Let's ask some of, read some of your questions, and then I'll do Ethereum. Um, I see, ah, see, guys, when you see this, I see CyberOps. This is a scammers. See, they're like spamming CyberOps, CyberOps. Don't click on their comments when they're all like the same spammy looking comment. You see? CyberOpolis. Don't buy Cyberopolis, everyone. It's a scam. So when they're posting on my thing, you know that they're scammers. So I'm going to delete all their posts and just realize that these guys are scammers. Trying to... Don't... If anyone spams all my videos with some token or something, that's fake. <coughs> um, see, look. Whoa, I've got a lot of spam lately. Sorry, everyone. I'll get the team to clean it, clean it up. Um, who won 500 USD giveaway, James? Sir? Two people won the $500. You can watch that video. There was two $500 giveaways, $1,000 total, which is beautiful. Um, check out that video. It was, I think, a few days ago. G good day, James. Thanks for giving everyday helpful information. Can you please analyze Ave Monte? I bought 1003, but it's going down now. Alts will get destroyed, everyone. Um, most any alts that pumped will get destroyed. I haven't seen RV in the limelight, so most likely it's going to keep selling off. So just be cautious of that. If if the project is not announcing, if there's not lots of news, if they're not constantly pushing, or this is not. I want to repeat this because this is important. <clears throat> this is a Bitcoin ETF run. 
Bitcoin is pumping because of the ETFs, not because it's a Bitcoin altcoin season. That will happen when Bitcoin peaks in 160 days at the all-time high, which is the this might not happen, but it's the common pattern after 2016 halving, 2020 halving, you have 560 days until the top of the Bitcoin bull market. And that's when the alts will go crazy. So just keep that in mind. Um, you are a great motivation, brother. Please analyze DOT. Okay, let's do DOT and Aave quickly. Uh, DOT, I, I was following, they're still generating news and content. They're still quite active. So DOT can be good. Aave, I haven't seen bull flag on DOT on the short term, but let's go on to the weekly, monthly first. Massive support area is clearly here. So if you want to get DOT, $3.50. Well, crazy. Went up to $12 during the bull market. So $3.50 is DOT. And someone wanted Aave, Aave. If you have any want tickers, let me know in the comment section down below. But it is a little bit of a bull flag on DOT. But again, if Bitcoin sells off, it's not a bull market. You will be able to catch it on the bottom most likely. I already did Aave recently. Oh, I, cut, I haven't done it for, I don't know when the last time I checked Aave, but it hit my support. So $72 and $50 were the right calls on Aave. Um, one, James, what about impending Bitcoin death cross? Bitcoin's pumping, in my opinion, ETFs constantly buying. I have to watch it. It's very dependent on the market at the moment. Hello, James. Thank you for your hard work. Tell me why are you drawing waves this way? Shouldn't the second wave, according to Elliott Wave, be adjusted by Fibonacci? I just count the waves what I see. So, um, okay, wait. And should not break through the basis of the first wave. Correct. Elliott Wave shouldn't break. I don't take... So I think what you're mentioning is on Sunday, last Sunday, when Bitcoin sold off because of the attack down to 49K and that broke the wave. I think that's what you mean when you're asking this question. So the second wave shouldn't go below the first wave, which is correct. But I don't consider this first wave to second wave. It was manipulated down to 59K. They they waited for the ETFs to be closed on Sunday. They announced war with the run. They pushed so much negative that it pushed it down. I don't think that second wave would be classified as being pushed down. Like normally that second wave would have probably stopped here if they didn't on the support, probably at 62, if they didn't use that fear and ETF fight and uh, sorry, the, e the ETFs being closed, potential war to fight it down. So I do still think we're active in the first to second. This now we're in the second to third wave. Nice question. Um, I've got a good sum trying out strategies I found online tutorials. I would sincerely press, I take the courses, learn all of this, everyone. Thanks, James. Happy to sandbox. You're welcome, Benny. Why is Bybit not available? The USA was very strict against crypto. You need to vote out any anti-crypto politicians if you're in the USA. Coinbase is active. Decentralized exchanges are also good. Thanks for the great video. Thank you very much. Good morning. That's um, some of your comments. Join us in the Telegram as well. And also follow me on Twitter. Um, 86,200 followers and I talk a lot of about stuff there this also someone was showing this giant book cup and handle that I was just showing of a target of 106 MCRT is going crazy check out MCRT they're building amazing I was I saw the team chatting at 5 a.m. in the morning on a Saturday they're building the tech the developers like I was what I, I saw their their active that's what I mean you need teams that are very active that are constantly building that are constantly re releasing information Love you all. Have an amazing day. Hit the subscribe button, smash up thumbs up button, turn on the bell. None of this is financial advice, everyone. I'm invested in a lot of these tokens or seed investing in a lot of these companies. You have to do your own due diligence. It's very risky crypto trading. It's much riskier if you never invest and you never learn to invest and you never learn to in trade because then you're just stuck. You need to take your money, whatever you work, whatever jobs you do and compound it. Put it in things that are cheap, oversold, that are really good. Buy them sell them when they're too overpriced right now i'm putting a lot into tesla love you all but you have to do your own due diligence love you all have an amazing day and i'll see you all again tomorrow